If you're up in the balcony, wave your hand really widely. There we go. Just yell. Right. What is out on DVD? When's it coming out on DVD? I'm going to do a theatrical release first. It, I think it's coming out theatrically in January. It'll be out on DVD. You know, look for it. I mean, I think that's one of the luxuries of being in Tampa is that while we may not be on the theatrical release circuit, we get to have the films like this at the festival proper. Which yeah. Is really wonderful. yeah. Well, honestly, no, but because I know Joan. Was the script fictional or based on real events? It's so him. Like, the script is so Jonah. Like, if you know Jonah, yeah, he's like sure. a little Sean, he's a little Zach. It's, this whole film is very Jonah. All the characters. I don't think it really happened, but <laughs> he's a very wealthy, confident gay man, like Sean, but he's also an artist, he's an art director. And he's also a surfer. He loves surfing, loves kids. He came out to the brother. Well, he came out to the brother in the script. And the girlfriend, when they come down, how important was that positive response that they got? Well, in Jonah's experience, Jonah had, it's funny because the guy that he based the brother on, Gabe, like he came to the set, like Jonah had that friend. And he actually came to our set while we were filming. The like, yo dude, straight surfer dude. <laughs> and in Jonah's experience, that was his experience that his friends were accepting. Sorry? Yes. Yes. Is a soundtrack album? Yes. Shane Mack did the music. We, we have been... How did she find this particular script and story? Well, Jonah's like everywhere in Los Angeles. So he's like, well, every year after Outfest, I'm a gay filmmaker and I used to run yes. Outfest. Jamie's a filmmaker in her own right as yeah. well. No, but I, um, I'm very active in gay filmmaking. I feel like um, gay filmmaking is so important for our community. And um, so I go to Outfest every year, and every year I go to Outfest and I go to every film and I find the people that I think are really talented. And then I have this post Outfest, which is Los Angeles Gay and Lesbian Film Festival brunch. Where I invite all these strangers that don't know each other, that are all filmmakers, actors, writers. And Jonah was one of them. And we had this post Outfest brunch, and he gave me the ship, uh, script for Shelter. I mean, I knew him. I knew him from before, and I'd heard the script was good. You know, I think one of the things is, as somebody who like has seen a million films um, and programmed for a very long time, I'm often looking for films where men are doing things other than being pimps or circuit boy, drug dealers or circuit drugs. Drugs. No, not, and not just in lesbian and gay film but certainly in, in film period and I think that men are often deployed as women are but certainly men are often deployed in this very uh, stereotypical way that we have and I, and I think and I think there's room for films like Four Letter Word which I killed myself laughing and love to death but I also think that there's films where we should be talking about love and the, and the relationships that we have with each other. And, and, and so I would like to know, what was it like to work on a film? I mean, eating out too is super funny, and yeah, hi. I mean, lots of naked funny. boys. Lots of naked boys and lots of, you know, doing it. And, I love that script and, too. And how fun is that? However, when you make a film like Shelter, it must give you a different kind of satisfaction being part of this lesbian gay community. Yeah, I'm proud of Eating Out too, actually, too. I know it's a nonsensical little nonsense film, but it also like ripped the religious right, and it had some very funny things to say, and it's entertainment. I mean, when y'all go to the movies, it's Friday night, we're gonna go to the movies. Do you wanna see a funny gay film? So I'm proud of Eating Out too. I like that script. And Shelter I liked a lot too, mainly because, I mean, I love that Zach was an artist. Yes. And he was, it, it's the whole family relationship, like, you know, that was kind of the thing. Like, he, he's and then he chose himself at the end. He chose himself and what he wanted to do as he moved forward. Precisely. Yeah. But he had so much going on about him and the whole family thing and the fact that the gay love story was so sensitive and pure and so lovely. It showed like what it's like to be in love, whether you're gay or straight. Absolutely. I mean, you meet somebody and this kid, it's really about this kid's journey. Absolutely. So what I would like to say in closing is that I am absolutely very grateful for producers like J.D. Salvatore who are out there making who's films. Who's 23 years old. Who's 23 years old and never been kissed. 
um, that we are out there making films for one another and that we're supporting each other in this endeavor to be in love with one another. And I want to thank you all for being here to support GD and for Shaka. So thank you so much.